Every season of Fortnite has one game breaking glitch that is so bad it nearly breaks the entire game. Remember when using shopping carts would send you to freaking space? Yeah, welcome to Fortnite's history of glitches. Let's go back in time and start at the very beginning with Chapter 1, Season 1. One of the first glitches of Fortnite came in Season 1, and it was the glider glitch. If you used a launch pad at the same time as hitting a cone, you would be stuck, well, like this. It was super weird, and wasn't even patched until three seasons later. Yikes. It wasn't one of the first game-breaking glitches, though. That came with this next bug. The OP Underground HUD. If you broke one of the foundations, you could go straight under the map and, well, shoot to your heart's content. It was pretty broken, honestly. But Season 1's most famous glitch came with the Pump Sniper. The pump shotgun could literally shoot halfway across the map, and while this was patched quickly, it created a monster. The Double Pump. Oh, oh two pumps. <laughs> In case you can't hit me for 80, right? I'm not using, I'm not getting used to it because I don't want to, man. But if you're gonna leave it, then I'll use it! I'll f***ing sell my soul! I'll do it! Let's go, baby! What y'all talking about? And now the glitches get weirder as Fortnite heads into Chapter 1, Season 2. Season 2's most popular glitch was the floating head bug. To this day, we still don't know what caused this, but as you can see, it was pretty wild. Although no one was ever really banned for this, it wasn't like you could recreate it unlike this next bug. If you remember the infamous GTA 4 swing set of death, then this glitch might be one you'd enjoy. Over in Retail Row, there was a working set of swings that actually had physics, and very quickly, this became a problem. And not because you could ride them, but because of what happened if you did. Whoa, what the f***? Yo, do you see me? Look at me. <laughs> Oh, what the f Was I banned? <laughs> I got banned. <laughs> now that is one way to get banned. The swing set remained a retail row, but the physics were removed. And speaking of broken physics, we also had the revive crouch glitch. Kind of like the glider glitch from season one, you were stuck in a very odd animation for the rest of the game. And yet the glitches got way more overpowered as we moved on to chapter one, season three. Season 3 was the season of duplication glitches, and boy oh boy were there a lot of them. But the two most notable were that of the port -a fort and the guided missile. If you threw down a port -a fort at the same time as swapping an item with it, it would let you throw unlimited forts down. Pretty insane. And as for the guided missile launcher, there was a glitch that stopped it from running out of ammo. So yes, yeah, spamming rockets that you can control, it's pretty devastating. And yet things got kicked up another notch with Chapter 1, Season 4. It's like with each season that glitches somehow got more overpowered as time went on, because season 4 introduced us to the first crossover in Fortnite history, the Infinity War mode, and things got pretty interesting real quick. In the Infinity Gauntlet LTM, people found a glitch that actually let you build as Thanos. I mean, if that isn't terrifying, I don't know what it is. And we also got shopping carts in season 4. These were so famously glitchy, and the best example was the flying bug. Man, good times. But now we move on to Chapter 1, Season 5. So spamming a guy to missile over and over in Season 3 was pretty bad, but it completely broke the whole game in Season 5. If you shot the missile just as you went on a launch pad, it gave you a missile launcher glider that you could bring out at any time. You could also walk on water. Weird, huh? At least the glider looks funny, but this other glitch is actually terrifying. I'm glad this one is patched. That is haunting. But as the glitches evolved, so did Fortnite with Chapter 1, Season 6. When the Quad Crasher came out, people quickly discovered that you could do this with it. Yeah. 
I think we all remember that one. But if you were here in season six, you definitely remember this. I'm talking about the invisible shadow stone glitch. When shadow stones were added, so many people began to exploit an invisible glitch. You can turn completely transparent and have gob mode. It was so broken that Epic disabled the shadow stones in the blink of an eye. It was almost as fast as Tfue destroying all of Tilted, but yeah, that glitch was pretty OP. But Fortnite moved on and straight into chapter one, season seven. If you used any vehicle in season seven, landed it upside down, and then rifted while on top of it, you would go completely invisible. Those are some weird steps, and I don't know how people discovered this, but it was a pretty monumental exploit back in season seven. And while that had a lot of steps, season seven also had weird random glitches that just happened for no reason. For example, with these zip lines around the map, some of them just sent you flying without any warning. It's really funny, but at least it was patched, and despite season seven coming to an end, the weirdness simply didn't stop with chapter one, season eight. With season eight came ballers, and with ballers came hilarious glitches. For starters, you were able to grapple onto cliffs to literally use your baller on the water. Now this wasn't ideal if you were the one doing it, but a glitch that everyone wanted to try was the first person bug. You were able to combine some gun swapping with getting in your baller, and for some reason that would make Fortnite put you into first person mode. It was super random and really weird, but not as cool as the next thing you could do with the baller. Almost everyone in season eight realized that you could drive your baller to the volcano and grapple onto the lava, and it would do this. But it really wasn't as shocking as what came in chapter one, season nine. As we got closer to the end of chapter one, the glitches got, well, really weird. In season nine, you could do some extremely weird stuff with the launch of creative mode. People found out that you can make your characters extremely huge or extremely small. So basically you would become Ant-Man in Fortnite. And that wasn't the only way you could distort reality in creative mode either, because players found a way to literally turn their camera sideways. I don't really see the point in this one, but it was still interesting. But something with actual use though was the blimps over at Neo Tilted. You could use a baller to throw yourself over to the blimps and land on top of them. And if you got lucky enough, you could just stay up there for the entire game and nobody would bat an eye. And that leads us to the finale of chapter one with chapter one, season 10. As we all know, season X brought us, well, mechs. Yeah, not only were they overpowered, but they were broken in a lot of other ways too. For some reason, some of the brutes just decided to turn completely invisible in the middle of matches. Some say it's a bug, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a feature. Jokes aside though, take a look what? at it. Where did that kid just go? What? It's invisible! No wonder Mongrel was screaming, I'd probably do the same thing. And invisible mechs weren't even the worst of our problems in season 10. Forget going invisible because people learned how to just dash around the map like their brute had just eaten a zero point shard. And while the brutes were bad, the real villain of this season was a hay bale over at Frenzy Farm. It was hidden under the map and believe it or not, players actually found it and jumped into it, therefore sending them straight under the island. Sometimes you don't expect glitches to be this easy. But with chapter one over, there was so much more in store that we didn't even realize it all kicked off with chapter two, season one. Chapter two, season one gave us so much new content and therefore new glitches. We had boats brought into the game and immediately people like Fresh went out to break them. Check this out. Can you do it? Huh. Come on, buddy. Oh, I did, I did it. I'm yeah. flying boat. Yeah. Welcome to Fortnite chapter two. Yeah. The meme chapter. Now this was cool, but it wasn't as popular as one of the most famous glitches in chapter two to date. With Slurpee Swamp's nearby river healing you if you stood in it, people quickly found out about a certain spot. This place would keep you healed the entire game and gave you unlimited wins. So many people did this. And for a glitch that people didn't even mean to discover, we have the Rocket C4 bounce. I'll let Cypher explain this one. Of rocket bouncing. We also discovered that you cannot rocket ride yourself with your own rocket, ever. Um, eventually this explodes and we'll, we'll kill whoever is here. But now we have chapter two, season two. If you thought Tifu destroying all of Tilted was bad, the chapter two, season two version of this glitch was off the charts. There was a glitch zip line over at the grotto that would give you the zero gravity effect for the entire game. If you jumped, you'd destroy everything in your path. And then we had a gas station on the map where one of the pumps just didn't break. People were farming this thing over and over again for unlimited metal, and it was the same every match. It was super OP. Then we have the choppas that were added, and players somehow just found a way to start swimming around in the air using them. But with the game breaking glitches we have in the next few seasons, I'd take air swimming any day of the week. Speaking of, let's move on to chapter two, season three. Season three blessed us with Kit in the battle pass, but a glitch made him 10 times more haunting. I think all of us remember this one.
Any skin you wanted could use Kit's built-in emote, and as you've just seen, it gave some results. It's definitely something. And while that was disturbing, season three also gave us the most fascinating glitch probably in Fortnite's entire history. This possibly even gave us a hint at an upcoming Fortnite mechanic. Take a look at what happened to some players after the device event. Now that is just secretly unlocking something that Epic's working on. Is this a glitch or a sneak peek? It's just way too polished to be a camera bug, but hey, that's why Fortnite has had such interesting glitches throughout its history. And some of them just completely removed the point of some features, like Season 3's vaults. People found all kinds of ways to glitch into vaults without needing a single keycard. They used boats, builds, and more. But we're getting even closer to present day now with Chapter 2, Season 4. Season 4 was one of the buggiest seasons that we have ever seen in Fortnite, and it was for one single reason, the superhero powers. Epic added so many different kinds of mythic superpowers that it really broke the game. Storm's tornado power was a great example. You can literally do this. Then there were these Stark bots all over the map, and people somehow figured out a way to break these things too. If you hacked them and then got eliminated, they would literally win the game for you. You could do this as many times as you want. And one of the funniest glitches of Season 4 was the Dinner Bone glitch, where players would just be completely upside down for no reason at all. You just see legs coming over the horizon before you actually see the rest of the player. Not all glitches were totally bad, though there were some harmless ones. If you used a jetpack on a zipline, you were able to actually do this. Emoting while using a jetpack should be a feature, honestly. It was super fun. But then we had the new henchman phone boxes around the island, and if you combine them with superpowers, you got, well, some interesting results. And finally, we had Mythic Vehicles, aka the return of the baller. It was broken back then, and, it, well, it was broken in Season 4 too. If you got out the baller when next to a player, this would happen. Uh, oh my god. But with the removal of superheroes came the addition of the desert with Chapter 2, Season 5. Season 5's Battle Pass included Maeve, who has multiple forms depending on what you're doing. One of these was a mermaid form, which happened when you were swimming, except it didn't exactly work out as intended. Yeah, it looks like she was cut in half. And if you remember sand tunneling from last season, you might wonder why it was removed for months on end. Well, a few glitches contributed to it, but the main one was that you could simply turn invisible using a tunnel and a harpoon gun. It was that simple. We also had the zero point in the middle of the desert, which gave us health if we went into it. And people quickly abused this by staying in a constant cycle of entering the zero point so they could outlive the storm. It was pretty clever, but also very broken. And finally, there was a bug that wasn't exactly OP or game breaking, just weird. Gave you a huge mushroom in your hand and it looked really stupid honestly and now we have present day it's time to finish off with chapter 2 season 6 we're in season 6 right now and after seeing how glitches have evolved all the way from season 1 to now it's pretty cool but let's start off season 6 with something that definitely would get you banned if you tried it players combine these slurp mushrooms and slurpy swamp with the porta potty and once they got it right this would just give you unlimited slurp even if you were knocked, your health would stay at 100. Pretty crazy. Then we have chickens in the new season, and they are awesome for jumping high and gliding, so why wouldn't anyone want this permanently? Players set out to get this effect for the whole match, and they succeeded. If you still see people bouncing around to this day with no chicken in their hand, at least you know why. That's all we have for today's history of glitches. Click on screen right now to check out our next video. Of course, this has been Tommy. Thanks for watching Top 5 Gaming.